Welcome to Ministry of Hacking. Like and subscribe if you are new here, make sure to comment down your suggestions. Today we're diving into mobile hacking. Our phones are practically extensions of ourselves, holding photos, contacts, banking apps, even car keys, where there's valuable data someone's trying to get at it. We'll unpack the top 10 mobile hacking techniques and arm you with the knowledge to protect yourself. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get you up to speed on mobile hacking. Let's kick things off with a classic phishing. Phishing has gone mobile. It's no longer just about those suspicious emails in your inbox. Now it's about the texts on your phone, the messages on your social media, and even the alerts on your favorite apps. We're glued to our phones and a text pops up, looking like it's from your bank or a friend. It's so easy to get caught off guard, especially when you're busy or distracted. It might say there's a problem with your account or a package delivery issue. These messages are designed to create a sense of urgency, making you feel like you need to act immediately. But it's a trap, crafted to look legit with stolen logos and branding. These scammers are getting more sophisticated, using high-quality graphics and official-sounding language to trick you. They're counting on you clicking that link without thinking twice. One moment of inattention, and you could be on a fake site. That link takes you to a fake website, often a pixel-perfect copy of the real deal. These sites are designed to capture your personal information from usernames and passwords to credit card numbers. You enter your info thinking you're on a secure site, but you're not. It feels just like the real thing, but it's a cleverly disguised trap. You're handing over the keys to the kingdom to hackers. Once they have your information, they can do a lot of damage. They can drain your bank accounts, make fraudulent purchases, the works. The consequences can be devastating, both financially and emotionally. Always double-check links and be wary of unsolicited messages. Take a moment to verify the source before you click. If something feels off, trust your instincts and investigate further. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Moving on to something more invisible. Man in the Middle Attacks or MITM. This one's all about interception. Imagine sending a message, thinking it's private but a hacker intercepts it. They're like the ultimate eavesdropper, silently collecting everything. Public Wi-Fi is a big one. Those unsecured networks at coffee shops and airports are prime hunting grounds. Hackers can easily snoop on data flowing through these networks. Another way is through fake access points with legitimate sounding names. Once they're in, they can see everything. Your browsing history, login credentials and messages. Think twice before connecting to sketchy Wi-Fi. Let's get real. How secure is that password you're so proud of? Keylogging is all about capturing every keystroke you make. Malicious software records every letter, number, and symbol you type. Keyloggers can be standalone apps or embedded in websites. Some even track your screen taps, analyzing touch patterns. Every time you enter banking details or log into social media, it could be recorded. Be cautious about what you download and where you type sensitive information. Exploiting vulnerabilities. Your phone isn't perfect. Nothing in the tech world is perfect, including your smartphone. Those sleek designs and features come with vulnerabilities. Your phone's operating system is complex with millions of lines of code. Where there's code, there are mistakes and loopholes. Hackers love to exploit these weaknesses to gain access to your device. Companies like Apple and Google constantly patch these vulnerabilities with updates, but you have to install those updates. Those updates often include crucial security patches, so don't swipe them away. As SIM swapping, they steal your number, they steal your life. It's a growing threat in our digital age. SIM swapping is all about social engineering. It's a sophisticated scam where hackers exploit human psychology to gain access to your personal information. Hackers target your SIM card, convincing your carrier to transfer your number to their SIM card. This process involves tricking the carrier into believing they are you. They might call customer service, pretending to be you, with personal info from phishing attacks or data breaches. They use this information to build a convincing case. If they play their cards right, the carrier might fall for it. The customer service representative, believing they are helping you, might unknowingly assist the hacker. They'll transfer your number to the hacker's SIM card, cutting you off. This means you lose access to your phone number and all the services linked to it. Your phone number is tied to everything. Bank accounts, social media, two-factor authentication. It's a key to your digital life. Once the hacker has your number, they can reset passwords and access your accounts. 
they can intercept two-factor authentication codes making it easy to take over your accounts, you're left with a functioning phone that's suddenly unable to make calls or send texts. It's a frustrating and helpless feeling. Be vigilant about your personal information and monitor your accounts. Regularly check for any unusual activity and report it immediately. Use strong unique passwords for each of your accounts and enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. Consider using a password manager to keep track of your credentials. Be cautious of phishing emails and messages. Don't click on links or download attachments from unknown sources. Always verify the sender's identity. When dealing with customer service, ask for additional verification steps to ensure your identity is protected. This can add an extra layer of security. Protect your phone with a strong passcode or biometric lock. Consider using security apps that can alert you to potential threats. By taking these precautions, you can reduce the risk of SIM swapping and protect your digital life. Stay informed and stay safe. Bluetooth hacking, don't let them near your tech. Bluetooth creates a short-range wireless connection between devices. It's convenient but also a potential entry point for hackers. Bluetooth hacking or bluejacking involves scanning for nearby devices in discoverable mode. Once a hacker finds a vulnerable device, they can try to establish a connection and access data. They can steal contact lists, messages, and files. Hackers can also send unsolicited messages or take control of your device. Imagine your phone dialing random numbers or sending messages without your consent. Be cautious about leaving your Bluetooth in discoverable mode. Time to get a little paranoid because we're talking about spyware. This invisible threat can infiltrate your device without you even knowing. Spyware is malicious software designed to be invisible, operating in the background. It can be installed through various means, often without your consent or knowledge. It can be disguised as a legitimate app or delivered through a phishing attack. These attacks can come in the form of emails, text messages, or even pop-up ads that seem harmless. Once spyware is on your phone, it's game over. It can operate silently, collecting your personal information and sending it to malicious actors. It can monitor your calls, read your messages, access your contacts, track your location, and even more. The level of intrusion is staggering. It can even turn on your camera and microphone without your permission, making you feel like you're living in a spy movie. It's like something out of a spy movie, except it's happening in your pocket. The thought of being watched and listened to is unsettling. Spyware is designed to be stealthy, often slowing down your phone or draining your battery. These subtle signs can be easy to overlook. By the time you realize something's wrong, it might be too late. The damage could already be done, and your personal information compromised. Be cautious about what you download and keep an eye on your phone's performance. Regularly check for unusual activity and be wary of apps that request excessive permissions. Keep your software updated and consider using security apps to scan for and remove spyware. Prevention is key in protecting your privacy. Stay vigilant and take proactive steps to secure your phone. Your privacy and security are worth the effort. Rooting and jailbreaking freedom or free-for-all. Rooting on Android and jailbreaking on iOS bypass manufacturer restrictions. It unlocks the full potential of your device, allowing custom software and tweaks, but it also opens up security risks. Vulnerabilities become more dangerous when your phone is rooted or jailbroken. Hackers can exploit these weaknesses, installing malware and stealing data. Be aware of the risks before deciding to root or jailbreak your phone. Social engineering hacking the human, not the device. Sometimes the weakest link in cybersecurity isn't your phone's software, it's you. Social engineering manipulates people into giving up confidential information. Hackers exploit our trust, willingness to help, and fear. They might call, pretending to be from your bank, or send phishing emails. The goal is to trick you into giving up valuable information. Be cautious about unsolicited communications and verify their authenticity. Wi-Fi hacking, public Wi-Fi, public risk. Public Wi-Fi is a digital playground for hackers. It's unsecured, making your data up for grabs. When you connect to public Wi-Fi, you're broadcasting your online activity. Hackers constantly scan these networks for easy targets. They can exploit public Wi-Fi to gain access to your devices and data. Be cautious about using public Wi-Fi and consider using a VPN for added security. Outro stay safe, stay informed. There you have it, the top 10 mobile hacking techniques. 
The goal isn't to scare you, it's to empower you. Knowledge is power, and now you can take steps to protect yourself. Cybersecurity is an ongoing process, so stay informed and keep your software updated. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Ministry of Hacking for more insights. Stay safe and stay informed.